Hello and welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. We are going to solve a calorimetry problem. And let's see, we put, we have water in the calorimeter and we put in a hot lump of silver metal and we mix it and we get a final temperature. Let's answer some questions. The density of water, one gram per milliliter. The mass of water in the question is uh, 80 milliliters, one gram per milliliter, so that's 80 grams of water. Calculate the heat gained by the water. That is Q equals MC delta T. And I'm going to uh, emphasize this is all talking about the water. Q of the water, the heat gained by the water, equals MC delta T. This is all about the water. So the mass of the water formula equals substitute 80.0 grams of specific heat of water, 4.18 joules per gram degrees C, and the delta T of the water. Well, let's see. Delta T equals, this is of course of the water, T final minus T initial. T final is 29.2 degrees C minus T initial 18.0 degrees C equals 11.2 degrees C. So we substitute 11.2 degrees C equals and we show our cancellations. Grams cancels grams and degree C cancels degree C. We're left with joules, which is what we want. We're calculating Q. And we do the math, and we get about 3745 joules. Okay. If the calorimeter is perfect and no heat escapes, then the heat gained by the water is equal to the heat lost by the silver metal. In equation form, we would say Q of the silver is equal and opposite to Q of the water. All right, looking up the specific heat of silver in our book, this is page 329. Silver, 0 0.24, 0 0.24 joules per gram degrees C. Okay, so... Let's write that, 0 0.24 joules per gram degree C. Calculate the initial temperature of the silver metal. All right, so let's see. The initial temperature, I know delta T equals T final minus T initial, and I know the final temperature and I can get the delta T. So that means, uh, let's see, T initial doing algebra equals T final minus delta T. T final was 29.2 degrees C minus whatever the delta T is. Ah, <clears throat> well, we're going to have to work that out, but we do know, let me switch colors here, Q equals MC delta T. And this time we're talking all about the silver. All about the silver. So, we're trying to find delta T. Delta T of the silver equals Q over MC. Equals Q over MC of the silver. We know Q of the silver minus 3745 joules. We know M of the silver, that was from above, 250 grams and the specific heat of silver. And here I'm going to write it in a different color so you can see what I do with the units. 0 0.24 joules per, we'll just extend that divisor, per gram degree C. So rather than creating another fraction down here, we just put it on the other side of the divisor. 
And let's see, we've got some canceling units. Grams cancels grams. And joules cancels joules. Degree C. And that's what we wanted. So that equals um, minus 64, 62.4. Minus 62.4 degrees C. So that's our delta T. Delta T of the silver. So let's substitute that in over here. So that value goes in here. Minus negative 62.4 degrees C, which equals 91.6 degrees C. And that is our T initial. Okay, a few more questions. Imagine some tap water splashed out. Is this human, as you were adding it, human error or experimental error? Human error because it's your fault. If the water splashed out, what would that do to the heat gained of the water, higher or lower? Well, let's see. Less water means the temperature would rise more, which means that it would look like it gained more heat. So that would increase the Q. And imagine it takes you a few seconds to move the iron from, from the iron from the oven to the calorimeter. Human error or experimental error? Well, you could argue that that's necessary, but um, I, it's hard to imagine it taking a few seconds. You want to do it as quickly as possible, and certainly a styrofoam cal cup calorimeter can be moved within arm's reach of the uh, oven. So I would vote for human error, but uh, you could argue either way. You want to be very safe and slow. So that is our calculations. Notice we use Q equals MC delta T. We use it twice, actually. Each time we are very careful to be clear about what we're talking about. If, if uh, we're talking about water, the equation is all about the water. If we're talking about silver, it's the heat gained by the silver equals the mass of the silver times the specific heat of silver times the delta T of the silver. Be very clear with any equation what substance you're talking about. And that is our experiment E. Have a beautiful evening. Ta-ta.